Good morning, everybody. Charlie checking in. Right there. Erica here. Right there. Much love to you guys. <laughs> Happy Way Back Wednesday. Morning, Lily, baby. What, what? So, not much going on today, guys. I'm not sure if we're going to go out and do much today. We might, we might go to Crowder's Mountain. We may not. Um, uh, really don't know, guys. It's one of them things kind of up in the air. She's kind of, she's kind of hooked on the video game now. So she wants to play the video game today. And that's it. She's, she's trying to hint to me that she gets up a lot faster with coffee. <laughs> so let's see how long it takes her to get up and go make some. Hey. I'm kidding. I got you, baby. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Let's see what we can get into today. Lily. Lily, Lily. Oh my god. This is a chicken. That's a chicken right there? Yeah. Alright guys, what are we making here? Um, French toast. French toast. Yay. Yay. Awesome. So. I need a fork. French toast pretty much consists of eggs, bread, and that's Cinnamon it, right? Cinnamon and sugar. Oh, I'm going to beat the baby up. Yep. One egg for two two pieces of toast? Yeah. I think I want I'm three not. pieces. You want three? I want three pieces. Well, then just put another egg in here and I'll make however many pieces. All right. Have. Let's get us another eggy egg. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. This is our little cooking video for you guys. <laughs> so, little one, show them what we're doing this morning. Show them what we're doing this morning. Eggs. Eggs make the world better. Does it? Who came first, chicken or egg? I don't know. I've thought about that a lot, and I don't know. Oh, I got a shell in there. <laughs> I it saw like you, like, demolish that egg. <laughs> Jeez. It looked, it looked like a velociraptor. <laughs> just kept, yeah. Something was hatched out of that motherfucker. <laughs> wow. Oh, he cracked it as delicately as an alligator. <sighs> Alligators like eggs, right? Um, I would assume. You would assume? No, I've seen, some, I've I, seen I snakes eat eggs. Ugh. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to mix up the egg. That's going to be our batter, right? Yep. Batter up. Do you know how to make French toast? I do. You do? Yes. I haven't made French toast before. I know the, I know the gist of it. Okay. It's like eggs and milk. Well, I... Is there any milk in it? No? Um, not usually. You can put a little bit in the eggs. Mm-hmm. Um, I do cinnamon. Ooh, is that cumin? No, that's cinnamon. Ooh, love cumin. Yeah, I don't. No. Oh. <laughs> I'll be like, what'd you just put cumin in the, in the, in the, in the, in the French toast for? I'll put sugar and cinnamon in the eggs. And there you go. Mm. Sometimes I even sprinkle a little bit more on there whenever I'm cooking them, but mm -hmm. whatever. Whatever. Whatever, love. Ooh, it's starting to smell good. Yeah. All right, so we're going with some fresh nature's own. Yum. Mm -hmm. And. And I don't see nothing and else. And. And then butter. Got to have the butter. All right, so we're gonna grease things up. Grease things up and get things going. Mmm, God, that looks so good. Oh, I never did turn the pan on. No, <laughs> she's slacking. Yeah, so we gotta really? wait a minute. All right, we gotta heat it up. Just kind of getting it. Mm -hmm. So it don't stick. There you go. That looks like a... Then when I, me cooking as a man, you know, I was kind of thinking gargantuan proportions, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least four slices right there, you know? <laughs> I just throw in like a, like a scoop of butter. Oh, so let's see here. Mmm, a little dip in action. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Look at that. Yeah, the pan's not really that hot yet, but. Mmm. Mmm, so look at that. One down. Four more to go because we've got a little bit of juice left. A little bit of mm, juice left. A little bit of juice left. Waste not, want not. And we're going to eat. Mmm. What kind of, what kind of uh, syrups do we got? Just regular. Just regular. Do you keep syrup in the oh, refrigerator? Yeah. 
There it is. Oh, Aunt Jemima. Dude, I gotta tell you what. This, Aunt Jemima looked just like my mama. Yeah? I swear to goodness, man. No kidding. Look at her. That was my mama. Just white. <laughs> Hi, baby. Swear to goodness, dude. Every time I see Aunt Jemima, I think of my mama. Yeah. Mm. Ugh, I'm gonna call this stuff snot toast. Look. Hey. <laughs> this is the last of it. It's just like you're just dipping it in some freaking nasty snot. Ugh. But it's not. Oh. <laughs> 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 It'll still be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you like this angle? Oh, I don't care. It's all bad. <laughs> it's all good in the hood, it's baby. All, I said it's all bad right now. It's all bad. In 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 the in the in the hood, mm -hmm. it's all good in the hood. Mm -hmm. We're eating French toast, baby. How can it be bad? Okay, so we got. Do we have any cinnamon? Bam. Oh my goodness. Bam. Oh my goodness. Bam, guys, look at that. It's fresh off the damn stove. All right. Do you want some more butter on them? Butter. I think I'll have some butter. Put it on the burnt one. Put it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. I put, I put a lot of butter on my shit. That's trailer, a lot. trailer park, <laughs> trailer park French toast. French toast. So French toast and and French toast and and I don't know. I'm asking you. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Or. Mm hmm. Let's take a bite. What do you got in mind today? Or did you think about something else to eat? Or no, I'm thinking Resident Evil. Or get dressed up. Oh. That's the burnt one, and it's mm. yummy. Told you it'd still be yummy. Mmm. Thank you, baby. It's too good for me. Mmm. Thank you. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. Jason toast. Aww. I love French toast. You love it? Boom, 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 boom. I'm playing with my food. <laughs> Somebody got him. They're not mallard ducks, they're like some other kind of ducks mm -hmm. and they're not really that cute and so they're kind of like a nuisance in the neighborhood so with me feeding them and stuff, somebody I guess didn't like it. Right. And then... Your ducks are shitting all over my damn yard. Yeah, and they disappeared. They were wild ducks, but I was helping them be healthy. He was taking care of you, feeding them? Mm-hmm. There we have it. Complete with mandible. All right, guys, here we are. We decided not to play some Resident Evil, man. Not this morning, we will later. <laughs> so where are we headed to today? We are going over here to Kings Mountain. There's a revolutionary battlefield. Yes. And um, Charlie was actually just telling me because he was reading up on it and stuff more yeah. than I was. Right, yeah, and they say that it was, uh, it was actually the first uh, uh, um, significant battle won against uh, uh, the uh, the British, you know, by the Patriots, uh, you know, which led to our, you know, uh, eventual emancipation from, from British rule, you know, the uh, no taxation without representation, all that good stuff, our freedom. <laughs> and uh, right here at Kings Mountain, the very first battle. Yep, and I, I, it looks like a trail, like a mile trail or something. Yes, yeah, at a mile and a half long. Mile and a half, so we're gonna go for a little walk in the pictures, it looked really, it looked really nice, so Definitely. I'm excited. Definitely, yep. you know, like uh, just you know, just to be able to just you know take the same footsteps that other soldiers and and other historians have, you know, um, 
Uh, you know, it's, it, it's really amazing. So, um, yeah. I think maybe we should bring the spirit box with us. Oh, and, and yeah, I think we carry it in the I car got, now. <laughs> the spirit box stays with us. Yeah. I think maybe we'll bring it out, you know, and respectfully, you know, maybe, uh, you know, cast some EVPs. Because, you know, there's probably people out, you know, there's so much, there's been so much death here, you know, that, uh, you know, that uh, there could be people that are, you know, spirits and stuff that reach out to you. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, we're going to fix that. But people that, you know, spirits that reach out to us regardless of whether we're trying to or not. Right. You know what I mean? So why not go out here, um, have some fun, soak in the beauty, you know, and, and the history and everything. And, uh, you know, potentially do a little investigating, you know. I, I, kind of a passion of mine. So we're going to do that today on King's Mountain. Yep. So, all right. I'm so looking we'll forward to it. we get into. Right on. Right, getting the hell out of Shelby. <laughs> you know, every time I see a water tower, you ever seen what's eating Gilbert Grape? Mm -mm. Uh, you haven't? Oh my goodness, we've got to see what's eating great Gilbert Grape. Artie, Artie wants to climb the tower. Leonardo DiCaprio is in it, and he's, yeah. he's mentally challenged, and he keeps climbing the the city's water tower. Mm. Yeah, and the only way to really get him down is to sing a song called "Match in the Gas Tank." Boom, boom. <laughs> really? Yeah. We'll Matching the gas it. tank. Come on, Arnie. Arnie's going to have a big party. Oh, you got to see it. Come on down, Arnie. <laughs> Come on down, Arnie. Wow. One and a half miles to our destination. Can you just imagine? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. I don't know. This is it. Kings Mountain. Oh, National Military Park Visitor Center, two miles. Wow, so this is this is about where it happened, guys. We are gonna walk to where it happened. Okay, here we are, guys, at Kings Mountain. We're gonna show you guys two parks, one mountain. Sacrifices, what happened on this mountaintop echo, echo loudly through two centuries of American history. The actual field where blood was spilled has long been preserved by the daughters of the American Revolution and National Park Service. Yeah, so much respect and honor to all you that fought and died here in Kings Mountain. A little information for you here. Is there? Oh, I was about to say, is that a waterfall? No, I can't even see. So I think there's a, uh, what's this little, a little information center over here we're going to check out. Yeah. And get our, get our knowledge on and then we're going to walk the trail. Well, how's that sound, baby? Sounds great. Awesome. It's kind of ominous. There's a crow, man. It's, yeah. It's calling, just boy. It here. does. Everything just looks just kind of dead, you know? Yeah. Wow. Okay, we got some time garb here, guys. I was admiring his canteen right here. It is so lightweight. He's got his leg warmers. Oops. Okay. And let's go over and show these guys. So, this must have been the mountain men. So our mountain men, you kind of can't see through the glare. Mm -hmm. And then the Patriots. And they were defeated. They said, something, they said something about like, you know, that X. Gun. Yeah, they said that X right there was like almost like a, a, a target for Oh yeah. For us. Like just aim right there for that X. Okay, here's a little legend, little map, overhead view. So we're at the battle. Ferguson's grave. <gasps> Ferguson's grave. Right there, that's where Ferguson was killed. It'll probably show And us. Ferguson was actually the guy, he came and, and he tried to recruit more men for the Loyalists and, and told the Patriots to put their guns down. Mm. Yeah, and they were like, no, we're not putting our guns and down. And his grave's out here? Yes, we're gonna see it right okay. there. Let's go see Ferguson's grave. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this. What is this? The Patriot victory at Kings Mountain, October 7th, 1780. How you doing? Look at that, guys, that's pretty. Got her in her <laughs> bonnet. Look at that. How adorable is that? Funny. I'm gonna turn to some butter and stuff. I could do that. You can do that. Yeah. I don't think I could go without electricity though. <laughs> Try on this one. Hot water. Gotta Try have on that one. Water. Oh, that. Oh, that's the right Junior Ranger. You could be a Junior Ranger. Oh. That's so cool. Yeah, it's got like stuffing and stuff in it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. It discourage you from wearing it. Putting your lacy head <laughs> in it. Yeah. Okay, so Erica, while looking at presidents down here, she said... I said that the next picture on there is going to be Eric Boyer. 
Eric, Eric Boyer, Boyer for, president. for president. Yeah, I forgot we we're supposed to give him a <laughs> shout out. She just reminded yeah. me. So Eric Boyer for president. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, there's actually a little museum, museum here. Yeah. I can't believe it. It's Pretty free. Exciting, if you're in the area, come check it out. First thing done. Ferguson Breach Loading Rifle. What is this thing? What the heck? The breech plug of the Fursley Ferguson was opened by one of the trigger guards. Could load and fire the red weapon in the prone or kneeling position. Wow. Look at this dang thing. So this is Ferguson. This is bust. Yep. They're giving him a lot of uh they're giving him a lot of a lot of uh, clout here, guys. He's the one that got taken down by the Patriots. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Kaboom. He served with distinction in the British infantry. Yeah. Wow. Much love to the British. I still love my British fans, all you guys over there across the pond. We love you guys. <laughs> but this is just a part of history. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow. What? This is like it's like the forest. Let's cut around here. Cabins and farms. All the bear necessities. The bear necessities. Yeah, you couldn't travel with much. You saw me, I was going through the. I was going to hit the Appalachian with like 60 pounds a year. I wasn't going to make it. Oh man. Okay, this just tells you about more about the invasion. They started in Charleston. They, they hit Charleston and they came after us. They hit Camden, Mus Musgrove. See, all, most, almost all the Revolutionary War, the battles of the Revolutionary War was fought right here in South Carolina. And right here at Kings Mountain, they said, you know what, we're not gonna take it. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> mm, black guy, yes, ma'am. So, so amazing though. It's definitely history to be revered, all kidding aside. British Major General. Oh, here's some old tools the mountain men use. Belt axe, tomahawk. Wow. Oh, just imagine that taking your hair. Mm. What does he got here? Uh, ramrod pipe. Or powder horn. Oh, they took the hunting knife out. Uh, Removed for conservation. Huh, so these satchels. are all real items. Real items, yep. Yeah. They're not like remakes. That's crazy. No. The Southern rifle, the rifle which backcountry settlers considered a survival tool, provided to be an effective military weapon in the Battle of Kings Mountain. The Southern wow. rifle, right there. We got a wooden canteen, Dutch Master pistol. Wow, look at that. Dutch <laughs> holster pistol. It's got their cutlass, sword, the sword of, Car of Colonel Hambright. Wow, look at that. That was Colonel Hambright's sword. Wooden canteen, a shoe buckle found on the battlefield. Awesome. Next stop. Dutch and musket. Dutch musket. Wow, guys, that is so cool. Okay, here we are. Battlefield trail, one and a half mile walk. So start, start walking this way. Walking this way. Walk this way. They said they just redid the path with all recycled tires. Mm-hmm. So it should be a nice and easy walk for us. Mm hmm God save the king. Haha. <laughs> Here we are. Boom. They did say tires, didn't they? Yep, recycled oh. tires right here. That lady that's in there was so super nice yes. and 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 helpful, man. I mean, oh my goodness, she <laughs> just yeah every, gave us gave us a damn you know map of the whole place, dude. And, you know, a little bit of the history, told us all about the museum. Really nice, outgoing lady, man. I didn't get her name, but you know, if you come she here, she was a sweetie. Yeah, very much so. Do okay. I smell poop? <laughs> it's just me. Sorry. No, What's that smell? I don't know. What's that smell? What's that smell? Alright, what do we have here? Fighting in a formless prime evil. Kings Mountain would have enabled us to oppose a superior force with an advantage had it not been covered with woods which sheltered the American, enabling them to fight in their favorite manner. 
The woods around you today may look ancient, but they are only a shadow of mature forest that stood here on October 1780. So, man, that's what we're talking about. Like, it looks all bare and stuff like that, but, man, they said it was actually a lot of mature forest right here in these hills, guys. Okay, found us a little trail that leads up from behind us. <laughs> Here fell Major William Chronicle, erected by the William Chronicle chapter. Yep, so there's a Patriot ma Major that fell right here. Much respect to you, sir. <clears throat> Major William Chronicle. You know, guys, just looking at it from over here, you know, just walking away and just seeing right where, you know, Major fell. You know, it's kind of wild that they know exactly where these people, right? you know, they, they lost their lives, man. It's, 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 kind of, it's kind of wild just to think about. It's a quiet little babbling stream. This is where I would put a tent, like right here. Right here. Right there by the water, so mm -hmm. you can hear it. Right there where the copperheads come to drink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's where my that's where I. Hey, look, matter of fact. Better be careful digging around and stuff like that. Just having a seat. You get bit right in the butt by a copperhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just tighten the noose. Fire as quick as you can and stand your ground as long as you can. When you could do no better, get behind trees or retreat. But I beg you not to run quite off. If we are repulsed, let us make a point of returning and renewing the fight. Benjamin Cleveland. Shooting tree to tree. Said this guy ran from tree to tree, man. All the way down here, up here, to probably maybe there's one of these trees. Of course, it's probably gone now. But yeah, and just sat there just firing on the, on the, uh, the loyalist until he realized that he was in between his men and the Loyalists. <laughs> and he was getting fired on from both ends. Right here, it said 400 people joined right here at Cowpens. Tennessee, Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia surrounded and wiped him out. We're on our way up there to the monument right now. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, right here on this spot, October 7th, 1930, President Hoover sat here and uh, did a speech for you know all the men that, that came here you know uh less than a thousand men taking out the the loyalists and fighting for our freedoms spoke right here look at all these people oh my 75, goodness people. Seventy-five thousand people at the were celebration here. of the something <laughs> sesqui sesqui centennial wow that's crazy just look at you Wow, how many people? 75,000. 75,000 people out here, guys. Can you just imagine that? It's amazing. That's what it looked like. Oh, Jeez. Goes, was that a Yeti? Oh my God, what's oh this my guy God. doing? What's he doing? It is a Yeti. Is he taking a leak? I better, I better not be. <clears throat> All right, so we turned around. We gave that guy a moment. We thought he was urinating or something. He was not. He Turn was mapping. Mapping. He was heavy mapping. He, he wasn't fapping, he was mapping. <laughs> Now I'm just playing. So yeah, anyways, guys, he said it's a sport, you know, it's almost like a, um, how do you say, it? you know, it's pretty much finding your way around without GPS and stuff. Damn, uh, really using the lay of land and stuff, uh, you know, to get his, to find his way around and stuff like go to the stump and take a 80, 800 yards to the north or something. Really, really weird stuff. If you know what he's talking about, let me know. Well, to take a look at that freaking tree growing through that rock. So I'm getting up here. And he did it too. He's way up there. Threw that rock. Busted that rock up too a little bit. See? Mm -hmm. And here we have it, everyone. The Battle Monument, King's Mountain. Wow, honey. Wow. Had to get a picture of us up here on top of this mountain where it all went down. And the views too. Wow, yes. Yeah, you could just see these, you could just imagine just seeing them coming down, or down at the top of, down at the bottom of the hill coming up at you. Okay, what do we have here? Wow. Uh, okay. Here the tied out, 
Here the tide of battle turned in, in favor of the American colonies. Tides were turned. In memory of the patriotic Americans who participated in the Battle of Kings Mountain, this monument is erected by their grateful descendants. Oh, there's a lot here. Fell on this battleground in the defense of civil liberty. Colonel James Williams, Major William Chronicle, Captains John Maddox, all these captains, privates, second lieutenants. In memory to all of you. And then what we have over here. Here on this day of October, the British forces commanded by Patrick Ferguson were met and totally defeated. Oh yeah. Totally defeated, baby. Oh yes. Right here, guys. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this view. Wow. Wow. So gorgeous. It's our travels, guys. Thank you so much for joining with us, man. It's great. This life is just wonderful and amazing. And <laughs> Got to go out and experience it. Wow, look at this. this is a nice one. Mm -hmm. Much larger than that other one. Right. This is where it all went down, guys. Right here, the Tories were shown very little mercy. Yeah, this As is they where they were trying to surrender. This is where their camp was at. They all retreated to their camp mm. right here. And they were trying to surrender. And we said, nope. No dice. Nope. This is it. Because these guys we were dealing with were monsters. So, you know, you guys have only one way to deal with monsters, man. You got to take them out. Wow. Wow. Battle of Kings Mountain. Elected by the government of the United States of America. America! Wow, look at that tree. These trees, I'm telling you, look, it just looks so just spooky out here, doesn't it, kind of? Yes. Wow. And here's a list of everyone that passed away in there. Killed. Mm. So... Wow, that's awesome, baby. On this field, the Patriot forces attacked and totally defeated an equal force of Tories and British regular troops. Okay, are there any Tories? Any British soldiers? Any American soldiers? Any Patriots? Passed away on these grounds right here. We want to show our, 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 our respect and our gratitude to all those that fought this war for our American freedoms. Are there any, any, any soldiers here that would like to say hello? Any locals, because this was, you know, this was also fought by local men. Excuse me, I just got, I just felt like I couldn't breathe for a second there. But these were brought in, like these were won by local men, you know, and and then there was some, there was some uh, soldiers here, you know, but there was a lot of local guys from Calpins, 400 from Calpins, picked up their hatchets and their guns and stuff and said, let's go to war, let's fight for our country. For our, for our liberties and our rights and our freedoms. I want to thank you all for that. Yeah, I can almost feel like bullets and stuff shooting me in the back and stuff, man. I didn't think about it, you know, man. <laughs> the red coats are coming. I'm out here wearing red, man. Look at the British. All I got to do is put my X right here. You're on top you know, of the hill, I'm up here on the hill. Is there anybody here that wants to take me out? Oh, man, I say that. Oh, shoot. Here we have Major Ferguson Falls, age 36, served as king. Said his, uh, his unusual checkered duster had made him an easy target. Ferguson fell from his saddle, his boot caught in the, in the stirrup. Wow, they took him out. Died with his boot up. Wow. 
Much Only respect 30, to you. 36 years old, had been a soldier for 20 years. Really? What? Yeah. Since he was 16, where I put a gun in his hand and said, go to war. Yeah. Wow. And what do we have right here? Here is his headstone. Mm. This is where he fell, right here. 1780. 1780. Ferguson fell in this exact spot, guys. Here we have it. Yeah. To the memory of Colonel Patrick Ferguson. Killed October 7th, 1780 in action at Kings Mountain. Walton commanded the British troops. So. Hmm. As to you, don't yeah. tread on us. Says that our government put it up just to honor um, the friendship of this with the citizens of the British Empire. Okay. Well, like I say, no disrespect to the British at all, because you know we have a lot of friends and supporters and, oh, and youngins across the pond. You know, yeah. definitely. So. History. Definitely got to be preserved. And who would imagine, right out here in the woods, <laughs> you know, 20 minutes from home. <laughs> Something like this, man. It's, it's beautiful. It's to be revered, honored, remembered. <laughs> I swear to goodness, man. It feels like something bit me in the ass, guys. <laughs> My butt is freaking itching, guys. <laughs> Walking up this hill or whatever, man. I got shot in the ass by a patriot. There's a red coat. Oh, dude, I swear to goodness. My butt is itching. I mean, it just, it just hit me. I even, I even jumped. I was like, ow, something bit me. <laughs> Swear to goodness. Americans vanquished. Said, in these woods, dazed Tories hurriedly buried their fallen comrades using only logs and rocks. Dr. Uzal Johnson of the New Jersey Provincial spent the night with the sev several hundred men with wounds, tending friends and foe alike. At dawn, a long line of prisoners stumble away under guard. Uh, in a few weeks, some would be paroled. Many would escape and return to the king's ranks. A few judged notorious plunderers would be hanged, and none would see themselves or the king's cause as they had before King's Mountain, nor were their leaders in London. Hmm. So that's it, guys, right turning over here. Point. This is Yeah, it was definitely the turning point, the tide for our freedoms yep, they right here in the Carolinas. They knew it was over, and they, they gave it up, went back to their lands, did their things, and we prospered. Here we are now. What... Uh, 300 and some odd years later oh my gosh guys and and uh, i'm just so happy and thankful for all these freedoms and liberties that we have absolutely and we were talking about that the other day too what's that about like how some people might feel like they're unfortunate but there's people all over the world that, all over the world you know that would love to live in this little single wide trailer that we're yeah, in that's what we you were know saying. what i mean with a little heater or something you know we are mm -hmm. truly blessed beyond our means in america guys and you know a lot of us it's, it's just lost upon us because we're just you know we're used to it you know we we're, we expect to, to live you know be have to live a certain way you know and uh, it's it's in big part you know because of uh you know, the, the, the liberties and freedoms that our forefathers have fought and died for. And we're going to go watch Sons of Liberty. I watched it before, but I want to see it again. So, <laughs> so we done, we done rekindled a new, a new fire there too, huh? Mm -hmm. Sons of Liberty. Time for Charlie to get educated. Yep. And we're back where, where it we all started. began. Yep. Mile Full and a half. circle. Mile and a half. That was fun. I enjoyed that. All right, guys, so that's it. We are done. That is it. Oh, uh, got us some Bojangles. Yum. Gonna play us some Resident Evil. Absolutely. I'm excited. Give our channel a shout out. Spooky. Gaming Together TV. Gaming Together. TV. TV on Twitch. <laughs> Hit us up, guys. So much fun, man. I was riding back and I was like, wait a second. We gotta play Resident Evil tonight. Yay. Yay. Get spooked out. Got her. Got our damn mic or not microphone. Got our camera all set up and stuff, man. So y'all come check us out, and uh, hope you all enjoyed, man. Today's vlog. Uh, today's vlog. Yeah, Love is a battlefield. I, I enjoyed it. I did too. I, I really, I really didn't expect it to be as cool as it was out there on Kings Mountain. Right. And it was so, man. You know, saying damn, thank you all for watching, man. You got a chance if you're in the area, go check it out. And uh, love is worth fighting for. Yes. All right, guys. Talk to y'all tomorrow.